Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this tutorial. I'm really happy to see you. I will show you all you have to know about the rigging with the new puppet layer from Tip and Animation 12. This is the first part of our tutorial about the puppet layer. We've implemented a new type of layer that will allow you to use the rigging BeepMap technology. You will be able to rig and animate a character with bitmap layer without pixel alteration. In order to follow this tutorial, we will use Registracoon rig file which you can download via the link in the description. Here is Regis, our puppet raccoon. Say hello, Regis. Hello, everyone. First of all, you have to draw all the parts of your character on separate anime layer. I advise you to think to all the poses you need. For example, you can draw all the face positions to do your lip sync or your expressions. The more poses you draw at the beginning, the better it will be. By the way, it's better to draw more on the intersection of the body parts. We will see in the second part that you can add more poses during the animation. Once you've done that, you just have to save all the layers and frames in the image library. To do so, you just have to select the layers, right click and choose create folder in image library. Don't hesitate to take a look on our tutorial about the new image library. Once you've saved all the layers, you can create a new clip in the project tab and choose new layer in the timeline tab and then choose puppet layer. It will create a puppet layer for each part saved in the image library. As you can see, my tool panel will show all my options to rig and animate my puppet. When you create a new puppet layer, it will automatically set your tool panel in rig mode. Now you will have the possibility to create bones on your canvas. You just have to click, drag and drop to create your first bone. When you release your click, it will ask you which layer you want to link to the created bone. To create a new bone, you just have to put your stylus on the previous bone. It will alight it and then click drag and drop to create the new bone. It will link the new bone to the previous one. Be aware that it's not possible to delete layers that has been rigged, except your puppet folder. In some case, you wouldn't need to create a bone linked to a parent but placed far from it. You just have to highlight the parent bone and then click drag and drop where you want to put your new bone. You will see the link on your canvas through the red dot line between the bones. If you need to change the link of one of your bones, you just have to right click on the bone you want and choose change bone parent. It will allow you to attach the bone to another bone parent. From this pop-up menu, you can also delete the selected bone. If you want to modify the position of your bone, you just have to hold control and click drag and drop on one part of your bone. You can also detach one of your bones from its parent without breaking the link with Ctrl Shift and click drag and drop on one part of your bone. From this pop-up menu, you can also attach the parent to reattach the base part of your bone to the parent bone. Once you have rigged your character, you will have the possibility to copy your puppet layer in another project, even if it has not the same size. To do so, you just have to right-click on the puppet folder and choose copy. Then on your new TVPen project, you have to right-click on the timeline and choose paste. It will copy all the puppet layers with their related bones and the linked image folder saved in the image library. Be careful, the transformation tools and the FX can't be applied on the puppet layers. Hope you had a great time with us. For more content like this one, don't hesitate to subscribe and to follow us on social media. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.